Hello, my name is Travis Smith. I'm an instructor at Health One EMS. I'm here today to talk to you about the intravenous administration of dextrose. The administration of intravenous dextrose is one of the most common skills performed in the world of pre-hospital medicine. IV dextrose has the potential to quickly improve a patient's condition. Local protocols require medical direction contact before an EMT can administer dextrose. Once the order from the physician has been received, you can move on to the next step. As you can see, we have two types of dextrose concentrations. The 50% concentration is prescribed for adults, while the 25% is for one to six year olds. The indications for administering dextrose are hypoglycemia, an unconscious patient due to an unknown etiology, non-traumatic seizures, and a glucometer reading below 70 milligrams per deciliter. Always consider the patient's clinical presentation and history before administering any medication. As with all medications, we have to ensure patient safety by checking the five rights before administration. The five rights are the right patient, the right medication, the right dosage and concentration, right time, and right route. The right patient is generally straightforward in EMS, but can get complicated with multiple patients. The right medication is dextrose. The right dose depends on the age of the patient. Because of the chemical makeup of dextrose, you have to be very careful with IV administration. If the vein you are using to administer dextrose infiltrates, you can cause significant tissue damage and necrosis. Also, you cannot administer this medication if the patient is suffering a seizure due to trauma. There is questionable benefit to providing IV dextrose in patients suffering a stroke. There is one last unique characteristic of IV dextrose we should discuss. A blood sample should be drawn prior to administration of the medication. You are changing a number of things with the chemistry of a hypoglycemic patient following the administration of IV dextrose. Obtaining a blood sample before you give the drug may help the receiving hospital figure out what happened to the patient. We also want to check our medication and ensure it is not expired. It is the proper concentration and dose, and it is not cloudy or discolored. The appropriate dose of dextrose in an adult is 25 grams, while a child is 2 to 4 milliliters per kilogram of 25%. An infant is 2 to 4 milliliters per kilogram of 10% dextrose. Prior to administering any medication, we instruct the patient about the medication's effects. We also find out if they have any allergies. This may be difficult in the unconscious patient. Try looking for a medical alert bracelet or ask bystanders and family members. Check your IV administration set. Make sure it is running without issue and the IV site is patent. Attach the vial to the closest IV port and begin to slowly push the drug. You will find it is not as easy to administer as other medications due to the thickness of the concentration. Periodically stop and open the IV flow to make sure the line has remained patent. Once you have pushed all the dextrose, follow it up with a 20 milliliter flush. Dispose of the vial in a sharps container. Monitor your patient. They should regain consciousness or have a noticeable improvement within just a few minutes. Some systems may allow you to repeat a dose of dextrose if needed. Your patient may improve to the point where they do not want to be transported. This will require discussion with your online medical direction and a discussion with your patient for ongoing care. Whether you transport the patient or not, you need to continuously reassess and make treatment decisions while looking for adverse side effects. Documentation is the final step. You need to accurately document why the drug was used, when it was used, the amount administered, and the result. Also include the physician who gave you the order. 
The management of hypoglycemic diabetics is a common situation in pre-hospital medicine. Using D50 to reverse hypoglycemia can provide rapid treatment of a life-threatening condition. Thanks for watching today. Good luck and stay safe.